Uh, nice uh, wine and lasagna pairing. Uh, now some other pairings coming up. Father's Day, of course, uh, sneaking up this weekend. Natalie McLean is hooking up with us right now. We're actually uh, toasting dad with uh, some Canadian wine and um, some great books. Absolutely. Great to see you, Bob. Great to see so you, too. Yes, I love that pairing. I want a crispy treat. But let's start with a book first. And we've got Dancing with Robots. Yeah, this sounds interesting. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Intriguing. The subtitle is 29 Strategies for Success in the Age of AI and Automation by Toronto author Bill Bishop. And this is dad's guide for how to survive and thrive in a world being overtaken by robots and other advanced technology. Skynet is here. So futurist, entrepreneur, and innovation coach Bill Bishop shares strategies for dealing with artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchains, big data, and self-driving cars, among other things. So, Bob. With all those things going on, what kind of wine do you throw back? <laughs> I know, something strong, eh? Like, yeah. that's, kind of, that's kind of dark, but anyway. <laughs> so is this wine. Uh, and this wine is made by humans, not robots. So mm -hmm. it pairs beautifully with this book. Uh, in fact, it's made by the Benziger family of California. It's robust. It's got delicious, dark aromas of uh, fleshy, ripe plums and smoke. It would be great with a grilled, sm uh, grilled steak. Um, and it stands up to strong aromas like smoke and sunscreen and, and dad's aftershave. Okay, <laughs> uh, the next book, uh, Atlas of the Heart. Mm -hmm. So Atlas of the Heart, Mapping Meaningful Connection and the Language of Human Experience is by Dr. Brené Brown. Now Brené is a university professor in Texas who publishes best-selling books like Daring Greatly on the courage to be vulnerable. In Atlas of the Heart, she explores 87 emotions and experiences that make us human, kind of like the opposite of robots. So Bob, I would pair this, uh, this book with a local wine, Estelle Estates Summer Rosé, because real men do drink pink. Uh -huh. And this one has lots of uh, oh, notes of field strawberries and raspberries. It would be wonderful with um, grilled seafood or endless dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, there's no shortage <laughs> of those. And rosé is there um, very popular now and year round. Oh yeah, it's the season it, and it's so versatile. It goes with so many grilled favorites too. So, but uh, it would also go with our next book, Bob. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got a really intriguing father-daughter relationship explored in The Sunshine Girl, mm -hmm. An Unexpected Life by actress Juliana Margolis, an actress best known for her roles in ER and The Good Wife. Yes. And this is a really deeply moving memoir, coming of age story about complicated family dy dynamics, resilience, and hope. And I would pair this book with CSUN Pinot Noir from California, made by the the Wagner family, and it's it's wonderful because, especially if dad loves the great outdoors, but also, as we know, Pinot Noir is the heartbreak grape, and this yeah. wine has, or uh, it, it pairs well with the memoir because it has equal measures of laughter and tears. So uh, this wine has aromas of ripe cherry and berries and fresh turned earth. It would also be great with grilled chicken, and it makes a much better gift, Bob, than yet another mug that says world's best dad. No kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're all in the garage. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> finally, we'll bookend this with the book Bookends. Bookends, yeah, new book out called Bookends, a memoir of love, loss, and literature by Zibby Owens. It is such a powerful memoir about rewriting your story from the creator and host of the award-winning podcast, Mom's don't have time to read books. Of course, the dads we're talking about today are so helpful and thoughtful that the moms in their lives do have time to read books. But Zibby's love of books is infectious as she chronicles the impact they've had on her life and family. And she turned to them in times of grief to remember who she was and the importance of love and food and reading, writing, and finding your own voice. And so I would pair Zibby's book, Book Ends with Emilo. And it's a wonderful, effervescent, sparkling wine, um, like Zibby's sparkling personality, or Dad's. Uh, it's got uh, notes of lime and, and fresh green apple. It's it's juicy oh, and mouth-watering. Okay. And be great to raise a toast to Dad. Yes, all right. Great reading, great sipping, great pairings, great suggestions. As always, we're going to link up nataliemclean.com at chch.com for more. Thank you, Natalie. Cheers.